What's up guys, Eric from Beat Sonic. Today we have here a 2024 RAV4. It is a brand new model. It's a little bit of minor change done from before, but otherwise it looks pretty much the same. And on top of that, this RAV4 has some upgrades on it. It has some really cool TE37s. It has a lift kit, lift almost about two and a half inches. So it looks very, very cool. And also has some of these ditch lights as well ready for off-roading. One thing it's missing is an upgraded sound system by Beatsonic, and we have here the ENA-2T3 plug-and-play power amplifier. Very easy to install. At the same time, it really improves the factory sound system, whether you have JBL or not. This one in particular has a JBL system, and the installation is exactly the same, JBL or not JBL. So let's stop talking, let's go inside the car and get this installed. Before we get started, let me show you something cool. So we got these brand new t-shirts that are limited production, available at bsonicusa.com. It has this cool logo here in the back here. It has the waves and it also has the year 2007. So what does the 2007 mean? In Japan, we've been around since the 90s, but we were here in the US since 2007. It's available at BeatsonicUSA.com. All right guys, now that we're in the vehicle, let's get started. So as you can tell by looking at the dash, there's a little bit of difference with this car because it has a JBL and it's also the newer RAV4 model. This one has a larger screen. It looks really nice, but the installation is the same. We're gonna get behind the radio. Oops. There it is. Yeah, let's leave it this on the side and look at that. It exposes the four 10 millimeter bolts. So let's remove them one at a time. You can use a ratchet or you can use a power tool. Leave it up to you. But just note that there's a glass right above it. And if you need a power tool, if it's a little bit on the bigger side, it might hit the front windshield. So just be a little bit careful. And having a magnetic tool helps. I can just pick it up with your fingers. Oh, my hands are cramping. Oh, my hands are cramping. Come on, pick it up. Alright, let me go to the other side and we'll remove these two on the driver's side as well. Alright, there it is. Next, we're just gonna pull it out, grab a thick towel, like one of these. You could use a thick sweater, some old sweater that you don't need anymore, and gently pull it out. being held by clips all right there it is guys that's it and once you remove that let's go into our kit all right guys we just pulled the radio out and the next step is to connect this plug and play harness and just to walk you through it you'll find these this goes to the radio this connects to the original connector that was connected to the radio and this male side here connects to the radio. Same thing, the female side connects to the original connector that was connected to the radio. And we are going to ground this to the side of the radio. And these two connectors will connect to our amp, which is right here, like so, okay? To make it easy, we will connect this harness first. We have a little tag here telling you exactly where the connector is. And I'm also gonna show it to you. And on top of that, when you install this, make sure you hear that click, okay? All right, so let's dive in. All right, behind the radio, you will find a bunch of connectors. These are the two connectors that we're gonna work on, this one and this one, all right? 
just make a thousand percent sure of that because one of our connector also fits this outside one all the way to the left. Don't connect it here. It's not going to work if you connect it here. We still have customers trying to connect here. Even after we explain it in our video, we also have it on the tag. Okay. But for some reason, customers still want to connect it here. Don't connect here. It will not work. Just this and this. Okay. And to easily access these connectors, let's just connect these two connectors above it, press down and release, and just make sure to not forget to reconnect this or else there's gonna be some functions that does not work. Okay, press down the release, and then pull on the connector, don't pull on the cable. Same thing, right here, push here. And then if you have a hard time pulling it out straight, just wiggle it left, right, left, right while pulling it little by little bit. All right, same thing here. Push, and then there it is. Let's start off with the white connector. We're gonna connect it to this gray connector. All right, here to click. There it is, let's grab this, the male side. We're going to connect it to the radio right here until it clicks. There it is. There's a paper here, you do not need this after you Install it correctly so you could remove this. Just keep everything a little bit cleaner. And let's grab this here. We're going to connect this to this. All right. It's from our harness, the female side. Click. And here is the male side from our harness. We'll connect back here. You're going to hear that click. Click. Okay. All right. Next step grab your amp. And let's connect these. Okay, let's push it in, push it in. There it is. All right. And the default gain, it's gonna be at 50%, front and rear. For this model, it's probably gonna be very close to keeping at 50% front and rear. We're gonna do some testing right now and see the optimal gain. And then I will share it to you. And let's not forget to ground this ground terminal. We'll ground it here to the side, side bracket. We'll just pick any of those. You can pick any of them. All right, now let's give it a test. All right, guys, we spent some time trying to find that sweet spot and we found out that the gain at front at one o'clock sounds really nice really crisp and really clean any more than that it just becomes a little too loud um, so we're going to keep it at one o'clock and for the rear we're going to keep it at 50 percent so once you get that set let's add some mounting tape and we're going to find a good location to mount it behind the radio there should be some space right here back to the left right here okay let's grab the double sided tape inside here we are going to mount it to the upside right here because we're going to mount it right here straight back okay okay let's go in okay there it is i was going to push it all the way in and this is not going anywhere it's on there really good all right and let's tuck in all the extra wires and cables and then we will just reverse order everything we just did and that will complete the installation. And don't forget to reconnect these cables. These two connectors, one's black, one is brown. The black one is connected from a different source so it might be easily misplaced. So be careful not to lose this. Alright guys, we showed you how it installs, we showed you how much difference it makes and this is one of many videos we made on these plug and play 
Encore Alpha power amplifiers. We've been offering this for like two years now and so far like there's thousands and thousands of customers who purchased it. They love it. They talk about it online. And on top of that, you know, it comes with a low price of under $300. Very easy to install. It's a no brainer guys. If you guys are looking to improve your sound system, you don't want to break the bank. At the same time, you want to be able to do it yourself and you don't want to pay for installation. And just the fact that it's just so easy to do, it's something that's worth giving a try. All right guys, well thank you for watching. Thank you for following us. If you are new to this channel, you watch this whole entire video, thank you very much. That means maybe you ought to give us a subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next video.